what's up youtube and welcome back to my channel um if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button please um also go ahead and turn on post notifications so that you're notified whenever i upload a new video some really great feedback really of people um being appreciative of my transparency so in the spirit of all transparency i have to tell you guys that to this video today was supposed to be my two week weight loss update. Two Remember ago when I uploaded the video, how to lose 10 pounds in a week. Well, today I was gonna check in and show y'all how much I lost in two weeks, but Hurricane Laura changed all my plans for that, you know, um, and I don't watch the news, so I'm not really, you know, up to date on things that could be occurring. Especially tragedies because sometimes you turn on the news and it can be so depressing. So I try not to then, you know, I'm at work just, you know, doing my thing and I got a notification or an email from our administrator. And she's like, yeah, we're getting our work early today because, and, you know, we're going to have to work remotely and blah. And I'm like, oh, honey, it's going down. If we, if we get, if we leaving early and, and we're and working remotely, oh, it's going down. So. Um, I got off work. I went and bought four bottles of wine, honey, and <laughs> some Oreos. And I was sitting here twisting the Oreos, eating the icing, sipping wine, and like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, twist, icing, down, wine, <laughs> twist, Icing, why that like oh I was so stressed I was eating pizza and dancing like but also I would like to say let's all be in prayer for the people um, of South Louisiana and people that were greatly affected by Hurricane Laura um, I lost you know some I lost internet connection um, I you know I did not have a great loss but there are a lot of people that lost a lot. So let's all pray for those that lost everything because I, could, I really could not imagine. So let's pray. Okay, so how many of you guys have seen post after post after post on social media pretty much dogging out 2020? I was that said 2020 um, should be a new curse word. Uh, 2020 just keep on getting worse and worse, and you know all that. Kind of stuff. When we first started seeing those things, I will admit it was kind of funny, but after a while, it really starts to play on your mental health simply because we literally don't have an end date to this. You know, we don't know when this is going to be over. We don't know. Like, we don't know. So, I think it's time for us to really shift our thought processes and align ourselves with a greater reality so that so that we can try to so we can change things. So, today I want to give you guys three reasons why we should all be grateful for 2020. Number one is life. Um, I know, you know, like I stated previously, we have lost so many people um, at an alarming rate, guys. And it is just so sad, you know, because everybody has their own grieving process. But I said that to say this, if you still have a heartbeat, you're still alive, you're still breathing, that means God still has purpose for your life. And it is so important to be thankful for that Regardless of whether you know what your purpose is at this point in life, you still have purpose. So be grateful for your life and find out, you know, meditate, pray, find out what your purpose is and use it. Number two, entrepreneurs being birthed and business owners 
being creative and finding ways to sustain their businesses during a pandemic. I was so inspired to see beauticians that have been working in salons since they finished cosmetology school, um, creating boxes like curl boxes, natural hair boxes, um, silk press boxes. And also um, seeing nail techs creating press-ons and manicure kits and pedicure kits and all these different things that they would not have come up with if they did not have to shut it down. So imagine how much more revenue these people, these business owners are going to make when they are operating fully because they've had time to think of new ways to sell themselves, sell their products, create products. I thought that was so amazing. Like that was just so great to me. Oh, Governor um, Edwards, you gonna shut down salons, you gonna shut down nail shops. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm getting ready to do this. And then they were still maintaining social distancing. <laughs> Like these people were presented with situations and they made the best out of them. We and that has to do with the remainder of this year. We have like a quarter of the year left. We, we, we have to shift it. Who, honey, number three. <laughs> number three, snacks and weight gain. Like this, <laughs> and listen, hear me out. This is the first year that we don't feel judged for gaining weight. You know, everybody was eating bad. Everybody was drinking. Everybody was just laying around because we had all, like, it was either, okay, I'm gonna be depressed because I can't go out and play or I'm gonna be in my house. I'm gonna turn on some music and I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna drink and I'm gonna be merry. Like this was the time where everybody just kind of like, okay, we, we we in the house, we inside, you know. People were still committed to their fitness goals. I know I, I was hitting and missing, child. But for the most part, to eat, drink, and be merry. And that's something to be what? Thankful for. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to give something light and airy um, because seriously, we cannot dwell and the negativity of any situation. Gotta find a way to make the best of it. And by making the best of it, we can't sit in the pandemic. We upset can't because bars are not open. <laughs> we upset because we can't go to the club. We can't be upset because we can't do this. We can't be upset because we can't do that. We have to find a reason that we are thankful. Focus on what you're grateful for and find a way to be grateful for it on a daily, on, uh, and find a way to be grateful for it on a daily basis. Stop being negative. Hell. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. For real though, if you watch this video to this part, I really want to challenge, I really want to challenge any rapper, okay, to a freestyle battle. Cause I'm, I'm kind of like a, ha. Hmm. So. Yeah.